Hi, I'm Deborah Myberg and I'm with Claudio Viverti from Viverti, which is located in Barolo. Yes. And, um, you know, there's a lot of talk in Barolo right now about the MDAs, the different vineyards, and yours is called Buon Padre. So what is the story behind that? Is that yeah. a vineyard or a place? Yeah, actually, the Viverti Winery uh, is uh, one of the owner of uh, seven cruises, or better, parcel in seven cruises of the Barolo village, of the Barolo farm, so the central one. But uh, the name Buon Padre that stays uh, under our main label, the signature Barolo wine of Viverti, is actually what we consider a Barolo classical. It is in the old days was uh, always a blend within different, uh, different vineyards, so different of, uh, of those groups. Uh, obviously, uh, the winery as well was uh, um, committed in producing also single cruise wine but this was more a recent trend in the early 1980s uh, still so now the name Bon Padre comes from where? Yeah the Bon Padre is actually a, a it's not a vineyard's name but um, uh, it's a, a restaurant name because the family uh, started to make this wine back in the 1920s not really to sell uh, um, all around the world, but uh, the main goal was uh, to produce the house wine for the family restaurant. Uh, uh, in the 1950s, they start to actually uh, say the, the wine name, so Barolo, without taking out uh, the name Bon Padre from the label. So the Barolo Bon Padre becomes uh, quicker for us, uh, our main wine that uh, we started to, to distribute all over and always uh, you know, with intention to grow and to make uh, more and better wine. Um, so you're in Barolo itself, uh, do you find it confusing to explain Barolo when you're from Barolo village uh, and then there's all these other places that are Barolo? Have correct, you, correct. You I mean uh, the, first thi the first things uh, when we're traveling around the world promoting our wines is uh, uh, trying to be very precise about what is Barolo. Barolo is a town name that gave the name to the both uh, wine and an, in an area. Uh, the area of production of Barolo that includes uh, 11 different uh, villages. Uh, obviously Barolo is the, the central one and is where everything started back uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the earliest time but uh, um, let's say that uh, uh, the, the fact that nowadays uh, um, people are more you know, familiar with what is Barolo, what is the area, make uh, the life easier for us to let them understand even the more detailed single vineyards uh, uh, cruise. So I think uh, we can face uh, consumers nowadays that they are pretty familiar for uh, about what is uh, Barolo as a name, as an area, as a, as a town. Yes. Now your properties are quite high elevation. Uh, how does that change the character of your wine? The estate, uh, it's about uh, 20 hectares and is uh, um, almost between 400 and 500 meters above sea level. 500 meters is a kind of borderline for the Barolo and uh, we consider one of our uh, highest elevation estate. The influence in the wine is uh, the remarkable acidity that uh, the grapes uh, reflect uh, into, into the wine and the lively, vibrant taste that makes the wine very fresh and uh, able to conserve the primary flavor, so the red fruit, uh, even in the in the in the long life cellaring, uh, acidity, as I say, is a conservant. So it makes uh, makes our wine very special. As uh, after many many years, uh, like 30, 40 years uh, of of bottle age. Well, I, I I love the lighter styles. I love the high acidity and and very bright red fruit flavors. So I look forward to trying it. Okay, thank great, you. thank you.